Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? So I did a little short video today talking about, well, well, going through the stuff I was grabbing while I was at the stores. And these are the two core classes I picked up. It is uh, Rumble and Ravage. Yep, both from, I guess, the very early stages of like the Transformers movie, the old school stuff, and then the latest, well, the last one, the Bumblebee movie. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, they're supposed to be both cassettes. One of them is definitely a cassette, and the other one is, well, <laughs> not so much. But let's start with the OG Rumble. And here he is, out of the box. Uh, I think I am forgetting something, actually. <laughs> let's go ahead and, uh, pop these on his back. How did I forget his little back? bling pop that in like that i might end up actually these are like kind of like a kind of like i i don't want to say they're they're not like a whitish color i mean they are like a whitish color but kind of would like to maybe spray paint them one day or paint them with a nice silver to give them a kind of silver look all right, there he is. That's that's how he looks like um, with everything on him. <laughs> uh, of course, he doesn't need to have the arms there. Uh, we will actually change that as well. But he does come with some good accessories. Um, I don't believe he can hold those guns in his hands because his hands are indeed uh, closed. So, yeah, these hands are, let's see, pop these out. Okay, that one popped out. His hands are tabbed in here. What's the best way to get these guys out? There we go. Yeah, he's, his hands don't actually have an opening to grip them, but I think there's a way we can get them. Saw some empty tabs that were on the arms here. I think we can peg them in there. So it looks like he's kind of has, has some wrists launching abilities here now i know whoops that's a little i was not aligned correctly there you go it's, it slides in fairly easy doesn't have any like r r swivel here i mean i guess it's understandable i wish maybe they did something uh, maybe maybe they can't really do it. yeah <sighs> yeah if they did add some little wrist movement here it would have been tough because that could have probably easily snapped he's already so small he is a super tiny figure. Um, but I, I like him. I like him a lot. He's he's really cool. Let's see. Doesn't have any swivel for the legs. Wait, is there? Oh, there is a swivel. Okay. He's got a swivel down here. Okay, cool. At the knees. Oh, because it's on a ball joint. That makes sense. So he's got kind of a little thing he can do there. Uh, I like his... Feet. They don't go side to side, but he can. Ha he does have a good, like, mean toe bend there. That's pretty good at getting him to do kind of like different looks. Kind of don't like his stiff little hands, but uh, it'll work for what we are doing. So, all right, I just bumped him. Yeah, he's a little off center, but. Yeah, yeah, looks pretty cool. I do wish I can do more with the the hands, but I I think he's. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Looks like he got a shoulder-mounted arm. <laughs> you can get the arms pretty pretty high, probably for the, because of transformation. Okay, but yeah, yeah. I guess this, these are just a little back bling so we'll, we'll we'll leave it on his back i think they i think they they went up like that i'm pretty sure that's how they look like in the show even though in the show i believe they were slightly smaller he's just a very small guy there's a lot of empty spaces in the back uh, it he is it, it makes sense i don't like it but it makes sense i mean i wish they could at least cover that up you know somewhat 
But uh, he's not a bad figure if you can get it for cheap. He's actually pretty damn dope. And I just I love that he's so tiny. That's what makes me really like him. It's Rumble, but extra small. Uh, we are going to do some size com com uh, comparisons. So uh, let's get down to business. Okay, because these guys are small, let's zoom in some more. Let's bring the camera down just a tad bit. Okay, these are both core class characters. We got obviously Soundwave next to Rumble. Um, seems about, I mean, Rumble is still a little bit too big, but seems close. He, I, I'm glad Rumble is not the same height or taller than Soundwave, but not too shabby. <laughs> like I said, he definitely is a lot smaller. Let's go ahead and compare some, compare him to something a bit bigger. And here he is next to the Deluxe Class Kickback that I just recently uh, picked up as well. Yeah, they're definitely, definitely getting a lot bigger here. But we're going to get even bigger. And here is the Deformation, well, Recording Alliance um blaster yeah he's he's definitely a lot bigger than uh than that but i know what you're wondering can we transform him and put him inside blaster because i really want to know and i want to find out if i can fit him inside blaster let's see how he fits let's find out whoa he's uh way smaller than i expected just just let's let's zoom in on this guy let's drop out on the camera look at him boy small so tiny finger he comes back come come <laughs> Compacts really good, really small. Now the only thing is we get left with all these extra parts. That I mean, you can fit the gun still on his back. These unfortunately won't have anywhere to peg on him at all. So you can fit these little blasters here or up here for some reason if you wanted to. But um, yeah, that's that's the guy. Look at him, tiny tiny all right let's uh zoom back out now by just looking at it here you can tell yeah he'll fit he'll fit probably whoops my bad homie i didn't mean to. oh boy he's gonna he's gonna get mad at me now definitely will have space to fit so let's go ahead and Pop him in there. <laughs> yeah, he's he's gonna fit just fine in there. Oh, this is strange. Very strange. Just trying to get the camera down a little bit. There you go. Let's bring him in. Let's give you the zoom in. Yeah. He fits. A lot of extra space in there, though. <laughs> Help! Get me out! <laughs> just, just, he wants to get out. Get him out. <laughs> uh, he's in rum. Oh, I was about to say, he's in a rumbo prison. Uh, no, he's in a blaster prison, that is. Yeah, you ain't getting out, buddy. You're in there. And you're in there good. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that was our uh, Rumble review. Now we're going to be looking at Ravage. I wonder if Ravage will fit in there. So we'll, we'll keep you around. Let's go. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be right back. Alrighty. And here is Ravage. He's uh, looking pretty awesome. And I got to admit, I mean... I'm pretty sure a lot of people agree 
but there's probably a small group of people that don't agree. Uh, but the Bumblebee movie had some of the best accuracy to the you know original like G1 style. Obviously not perfect, but they had a nice blend of that realism with the G1 style. And I will say, Ravage here is definitely very different from his G1 counterpart, but I think he still looks pretty damn good. If you see him flying out of uh, Soundwave's chest, you know. Okay, we, we know this is Ravage. And for this little core uh, figure, I think it looks pretty damn good. I, I actually like it a lot. Um, looks pretty damn cool and has a pretty decent amount of articulation. Might not have a crazy wide range, but it's not bad for what it is. And let's go ahead and talk about the things that I, I actually kind of like about this guy. So he's got some good head movement. Uh, what I like as well is he's got a mouth that opens and closes. That is really awesome and easy to move since you can clamp it here. And then there's a tab here that you can boop, push it back to open his mouth. Um, definitely has got a lot of weapons. He's got the hind leg uh I guess beams he's got some rockets on uh, attached to the top there and then a big cannon here in the ch lower chest area um, and it looks pretty good he actually looks pretty good from all angles I, I, I think that angle looks pretty damn good you know kind of like a bottom view you still got a lot of detail going on here side view I'm not a big fan of the straight out tail but uh, I mean it, it I, I guess works would have been cool to maybe have no maybe another little hinge joint around here just for a little more articulation. Uh, well, that's not too bad. I, I ain't mad about that. He's got some good uh, circulations in the legs. Um, I I don't know why. I think they're yeah. I think they're like on a okay. They're on a ball joint that can't spread. Uh, okay, these can these front ones can spread a little, and that is a little bit. They can spread a little bit. Um, give them a few different poses. Um, let's see. I can give them some pretty cool looking poses. Being able to spread the, the front legs makes them look a little bit more intim intimidating. Uh, make them look more three dimensional and not just, you know, one sided. Let me, let's focus on. Are we focused on him? Let me drop the camera down a little bit. Make sure he's focused. We're focused on him and not the background. Alrighty. So yeah, it's it's kind of it's probably hard to really see the face here, and we are like zoomed in. Um, there we go. Gotta put my hands in front here. He looks he looks really good. I like him. And yeah, so for the legs, he's got the hind legs. He's got an up and down here, up and down here, a tight up and down here, and then that's, and that's loose down there. Um, so not too bad. He's got a little hip moving uh, thing. I'm pretty sure that's part of, I'm pretty sure all this is part of the transformation. Uh, so let me go ahead and transform him so we can see how he looks like in his cassette mode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm in a sort of confused state because, like, what is this transformation, man? <laughs> oh, man. I honestly thought, like, this can't be right. This can't be right. But... That's, that's it. That's, that looks cool. What is that supposed to be? Definitely not a cassette tape. There's not much to say about this. Except that, I guess, don't really have much for, I mean, there is, I can, I can place those somewhere but then it don't it doesn't look right let me let me show you what i mean all right so i mean 
put the cannon on the side, and then just put the rockets back on top. It, those are so sleek. I don't know why the construction was like, or even the back picture. It's just like, nope, you don't need it there. That's it's so compact. It doesn't really. It's pretty smooth, you know. It doesn't look bad. I mean, this obviously this cannon ruins the whole thing, but you you can. <laughs> Ah, let's compare its sizes. <laughs> oh my god. And alrighty, here he is right next to the homie Rumble. So we got a nice little size compar comparison. They are both very, very small. Especially when you put the core class Soundwave next to them. He's definitely towering over them. Let's slide this camera up a bit. We. Yeah, so he is definitely, uh, definitely taller. And of course, he can open up his tray, but, uh, no, they're not gonna, they're not gonna fit in there. <laughs> this is a fake, just plastic, non-transforming piece, uh, which makes sense. Uh, if they were somehow would have been able to make laser beak, that tiny for um sound wave i would have mind blown explode into smithereens also plastic would have been super flimsy and breaking constantly so yeah um obviously this ravage isn't the g1 style but uh still so wanted to compare the sizes here he is with the deluxe class kickback definitely <laughs> geez definitely being towered already uh like he's already looking like he's gonna be a micro ravage and let's uh let's kick it up a scale shall we for fun magic square op freedom of or sorry light of freedom uh optimus prime wow <laughs> just looks like a little chihuahua about to take a piss in his foot <laughs> and of course i had to do it the Recording Alliance Blaster. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Just, just wow. Just wow in the sizes. It is very insane. Yeah, it's... I mean, it doesn't even reach his knee. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay, Ravage. It's okay. Don't be sad. Alrighty, that was him. Um, I, let's let's transform him and stick him in Blaster's chest. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> All right, and let's see if this little peep squeak fits in his chest. Nice opening. Okay, okay. I feel like, damn, just by looking at it, it looks like he's too thick. Oh yeah. Yep. That ain't gonna close. Bummer. Sorry. Uh, I guess only G1... Are you even considered a cassette tape? <laughs> I don't... I don't... I don't think so. Also, funny little thing here. If you look closely... It looks like he's trying to eat his tail. What?